I need your help. I need your help so bad right now because in quarantine, my hair has grown out to like a bunch of awkward lengths and I'm not really sure how to fix it. So I was hoping maybe you could talk me through an at-home dry cut today. I'm so, so excited to be able to help you today. So the a step before we even get into cutting, it would be sectioning. For sectioning, I have my favorite clips. They're called alligator clips. The huge, yeah. <laughs> and the reason I like this one because they bend and move and they flexible. So when you cut curly hair, you shouldn't stretch the curls or create any mark or any line or demarcation that won't allow you to see the shape later on. Mm -hmm. And of course, a pair of shears. Cheers, got the shears. <laughs> yes. What you're gonna do, you're gonna follow with the end of that part on the top of the head, and you're just gonna go ahead and create a vertical. So middle line. part all the way down. Yes, all the way down. You just go ahead and make a vertical line to the top of your ear. Vertical line like from here to here? Yes. Okay. Let me see. Perfect. Looks good. Yes, so trying to mimic the same thing to the other side. So now what we're gonna do behind that line, the goings from the center of the head to the ears, we're gonna create another line. So it's gonna be challenging. I that know. is gonna be one inch wide. Oh, if you tuck comb, lift the head, you're gonna end it out having an uneven line. So trying to just be consistent when you movement all the way to you meet your ear. Don't let it get out of your head because that will give you an uneven cricket line. It's not bad, but it's a little cricket. <laughs> I cannot get these perfect. It's really hard. I thought that this was going to be so easy and I was so wrong. How does this look, Lisa? It looks better. Okay. You have to let go of the halo because we're going to start cutting the halo now. And you never, never, on the whole head cut, you're gonna use tension. Tension means that you're not gonna make it too hard. And yeah. Just let it, let it go and soft, because remember the curls have movement and you have to let them be free. Does that length look good? Mm-hmm. And now I just start snipping? Just cut it and then we can adjust that and fix it. What angle should I be cutting it? Okay, so you're doing it a finger forward, so you're gonna cut like this. Gonna start cutting in an angle with the section stick out of the head, right? So the top one goes like this. That means the one that follow goes like this. The one that follow goes like this. So we follow the halo. So that's how we're creating a round shape. So this is the halo here, right? Yeah. I have my guide. So when I'm sectioning, I'm grabbing her like this. Mm -hmm. Not like that. Not like that. You have to yeah. be straight. Straight. Bring it up. Straight. Bring it up. You got it. Creating a square sections. You know what? I think in order for you to cut better, you have to open the shears. I think what is happening, you cut it like this. Look. You have to open, you can close, and yes. Just be slower when you do it because I'm afraid that you cut your knuckle. So I want you to move the layers. This is what I do, what I want to see the movement. Look at my, what I'm doing on my head. So I want this layer to follow this one, to follow this one, to follow this one. So this is the way you have to touch and manipulate. If I feel there is a curl that is off, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut it. This is how I do it, that makes sense? Yeah. So it's pretty obvious that the sectioning took me about a million years to get the hang of and we did have to stop and come back another day to finish filming. Yes, I was walking around with a mullet for a couple days, but it's fine. Back to the video. Okay, so you're gonna divide the back in four. Okay. So that means you're gonna start from the center, top of the head, and you're gonna draw like a vertical line all the way to your nape. Okay. That means two, right? Mm -hmm. And right side, you're gonna divide it in half, left side you're going to divide it in half so that means you're going to now have one two 
three and four. And now you're gonna get the whole section and you're gonna basically put it all the way to 90 degrees right here. And I see my guide right here. Yes. So now when you go to 90, you have to make sure that you don't cut your guide, of course. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna cut the rest to the guide. So basically we're taking off the whole little bush. <laughs> And you see how you have a straight line down the middle? Bring left side forward, right side forward to see the balance. Okay. Put it just before, it, yes, yeah, right like there. In front of your shoulder. This one still feels a little long. I don't think that you have to cut all of that, but definitely some of that, okay. like half of that amount. I see the longer pieces. You can see it, right? Yeah, you can tell. Perfect. So now you have to open the cross. So you're basically gonna like cross check what you did and you're gonna individually personalize that. So now that you're looking at your hair, do you see some curls that are really long right there? Right that here. Are off from yeah. The, they off from the shape. Maybe yeah. that's what we need to cut. Okay. But it looks pretty good. You did good. Is that it? Are we, we did it? <laughs> well, oh my God. I think this actually came out pretty good. I love how much volume we have now. Now I have to work with, with all that hair cut off. It's so much better.